going through. That he ain't finna bring us out right away. Because he gotta keep us there. Good God have mercy. He's got to buoy you in the situation. Because you know what? It ain't gonna kill you. It's balling you to soften you. Somebody getting that right there. Then my brother, after after you get boiled and softened, then the book said that they take the ram's horn and they gut it out. Y'all don't hear me. They take a knife, that's a special kind of knife, and they go and dig up in that ram's horn and they scrape everything out of it. They don't just scrape, but they can see. But they scrape the very walls of that horn because when the sound is blown, it can't come out a different sound. It can't come out having mixed signals. Because it's got to call a nation back on her knees. It can't come out sounding wrong. It can't come out sounding like the world. Because the ram's horn has got to call the people back to God. So he says, That's why, that's why Britney Spears can't call me to God. That's why my spirit can't respond to Luther Vandross. You don't hear me talking in here. I'm not hearing nobody talk back to me right there. That's why when I start hearing the sound, things that I used to enjoy, I can't enjoy it no more. Stuff that I used to can boogie on and change my dance because somebody done got in my ears and I hear the trumpet sound. I hear the horn blowing. Get ready. He coming back again. You don't get what I'm saying. I don't mean to preach like that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sit down. Sit down. It's gutted out. It's, it's, it's dug out. Marcia, until it's empty. Let me just break that down. Because we got some stuff that we have accumulated in the body of Christ that we call God that God can use so for the church he ain't gotten out sin he's gotten out tradition you don't hear me he's gotten out your customs you don't hear me he said I want to use you but you're too cluttered with what your denomination is telling you you too clogged up with the P-A-W you too clogged up with the Baptist church, the church of God in Christ I've got to dig you out I've got to gut you out because the sound that come forth is not a sound of religion but it's the sound of the king of kings and the lord of lords calling his people Pastor, this is the one that got me bad, Martin. I said, after he got you out, then the book said, I'm reading it, honey, in the order that it said, got you out. Then it put you under pressure. It said, then I got to take the horn while it's soft, while it's gutted out, and put it, come into your shirt, and put here you out, get on your knees. You said, I'm already weak. I've been bogged to death. I'm going through. And you reach your hands up. Reach your hands up. Asking God to help you and give you strength. But you don't know that you're in the making to become a ram's horn. And so when you ask God to help you, he'd lean on you a little harder. When you said, God, give me strength, he pressed you on down. You don't hear what I'm saying. When you said, God, I can't take no more, he said, but you're going to take some more. Because this is not religion. When I raise you up, you're going to carry the weight of the world. You're going to pick up the burden of the Lord. I've got to put pressure on you. Unbelievable pressure. Undeniable pressure to everybody looking at you and say, how in the world can you take what you're taking? But you're going to open up your mouth and say, it is well with my soul. He knows the way that I take and when he's tried me.
under pressure and it says then it drags you through the fire takes you through the fire while you under pressure while you weak while you struggling you experiencing going through the fire stay right there stay right there and after he gets you in the fire this thing got me right here he he punctures you. Because see, in the ram's horn, in the tip of it, there is no hole. Y'all ain't saying that. He got to make a hole. That's why you got people that are in the church that claim they got the Holy Ghost, but can't open up their mouth and praise God. You ain't got no hole. No hole. Oh, how, 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 how? How have you been called to consecration? How are you a child of God? And we can't even hear you say thank you, Jesus. And we standing right next to you because you a man made vile. You ain't no ram's horn. You a man made vessel. See, Saul got anointed. By Samuel, what a man made vile. That's why his heart wasn't broken. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. He had it on him. God, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. I just felt something right there, baby. He had it on him. Because another prophet laid it on him. But David, before he became a king, he was out on the backside of the desert worshiping God and getting the anointing in him. So when David got anointed, he was anointed from a horn. You don't hear what I'm saying. And what was poured on him was already in him. That's why the church can't go nowhere. Because what God trying to pour on us is not in us. I'm a firm believer that when when it's poured on you that it only works it works for people you don't hear what I'm saying it works for image when it's poured on you you get accolades you get front row seats they call your name out y'all don't hear what I'm saying when it's poured on you they better not forget your name tag when it's poured out on you they better not call your name not call your name and say you helped in the kitchen but see when it's in you oh my god Jesus then you don't care if they don't never call your name because what you doing you're doing it for Christ the reason why I work in the kitchen because I heard a horn blowing the reason why I am a usher I heard a horn blowing the reason why I am a preacher I heard a horn blowing way down in my spirit man didn't call me the ram's horn called me watch this is the part that gets me while you in that fire but this is the thing that got me I didn't notice I didn't notice till I read this mother while you in the fire the ram's horn 